Today's video topic is ataxia. Ataxia is a neurological disorder that is characterized by a lack of voluntary coordination of muscle movements, such as walking or picking up objects. It is caused by damage to the parts of the brain that control coordination and balance. It is estimated that more than one million Americans are affected by ataxia, making it one of the most common neurological disorders. Causes of ataxia. Ataxia can be caused by a wide range of factors, including genetic mutations, infectious diseases, head trauma, brain tumors, or autoimmune disorders. It can also be caused by certain medications or alcohol abuse. In some cases, the cause of ataxia is unknown. Types of ataxia. Ataxia is classified into nine types based on the cause, symptoms, and progression of the disorder. Inherited ataxia is caused by a gene or genes passed down from a parent. This type of ataxia can be further divided into spinocerebellar ataxia, Friedrich's ataxia, ataxia telangiectasia, and episodic ataxia. Spinocerebellar ataxia is a group of disorders that affect the coordination of movements. Friedrich's ataxia is linked to a gene mutation that causes a progressive degeneration of the nervous system. Ataxia telangiectasia is caused by a genetic mutation and is characterized by problems with balance and coordination, as well as an increased risk of certain cancers. Episodic ataxia is a rare form of inherited ataxia in which the person experiences brief episodes of lack of coordination. Acquired ataxia is caused by damage to the brain or nervous system from a stroke, trauma, or other illness. It can also be caused by certain medications or alcohol. This type of ataxia is further subdivided into idiopathic ataxia, cerebellar ataxia, sensory ataxia, or vestibular ataxia. Idiopathic ataxia is an umbrella term for a type of acquired ataxia in which the cause is unknown. Cerebellar ataxia is caused by damage to the cerebellum, the part of the brain responsible for balance and coordination. Sensory ataxia is caused by damage to the nerves that carry information from the body to the brain. Vestibular ataxia is caused by damage to the vestibular system, which is responsible for balance and eye movement. Symptoms of ataxia. The symptoms of ataxia vary depending on the type and severity. Common symptoms of ataxia include impaired coordination, loss of balance, difficulty walking, slurred speech, and involuntary movements. In addition, People with ataxia may experience other symptoms, such as fatigue, muscle cramps, dizziness, difficulty swallowing, numbness or tingling in the arms and legs, problems with vision, and difficulty concentrating. Diagnosis of ataxia. Ataxia is typically diagnosed through a comprehensive medical evaluation. This includes a physical examination, a neurological exam, imaging tests such as MRI or a CT, and a review of medical history. Blood tests may also be done to rule out other conditions. It is important to note that ataxia can be difficult to diagnose because the symptoms can be similar to those of other neurological disorders. Treatment of ataxia. Ataxia is a chronic condition, but treatment can help reduce symptoms and improve the quality of life. Treatment options depend on the type and severity of the ataxia and may include physical therapy to help with mobility and balance, medications to reduce the pain and cramp symptoms, speech therapy to train patients to speak more clearly, and finally, assistive devices like wheelchairs and walkers. In some cases, surgery may be necessary to correct the underlying cause. If the cause cannot be found, treatment typically focuses on managing symptoms and improving coordination. If you or someone you know is experiencing symptoms of ataxia, it is important to seek medical attention as soon as possible. Early diagnosis and treatment are key for managing the condition and improving quality of life. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.